Well, welcome to Beans, Brews and Bread, and this is the allotment plot tour for April. Let's go and have a look at the main plot. Go past the new plot with the uh, collapsed arch. Still plenty of work to be done on there. A few projects in the going though. As you may be able to get a sneak preview there. And let's go over to the main plot. Spring has finally sprung. Welcome to Beans, Brews and Bread today. We're going to have a look on the plot today on our April tour. Um, we had a bit of a cold snap last week. Quite a bit of um, cold weather for a few days. Sustained temperatures definitely in the zero if not minus one. Things have been, a couple of things have been knocked back. Not badly, but they've certainly had a bit of a check in their growth. Um, we'll have a look at those next. Um, we'll go through the uh, the allotment and see uh, what we've got going. Here in the uh, overwintered beds, the uh, looks like the um, birds have been having a field day with the uh, Mizuna. So it's starting to go to seed now anyway, so I think we'll get that out. This Ondive, I think is what it is here, this Ondive, not done very well. Really a bit close perhaps. Need a bit of a weed. But, um, yeah, they're a bit... Uh, Actually, they're not bolted or anything, but not really come to much. And then, I don't know what these were, but very strange thing gone on with these leaves. I don't quite know what they are. I don't know if that's a weed. At least this speckled lettuce has done really well, nicely. Feather there. Well, I think we'll leave these. Did a few more very nice and this cos type here really nice great stuff I think we'll give these a feed even they've done really well they've stood so well I think that's the winter density actually so well with that cold snap in fact that might be what's done for that actually might be the frost but they're looking lovely and then I think unfortunately the, uh, this looks like the uh, miner's lettuce. So that's, to me that looks like it's bolting there. Oh, we've had some of that too. Pak choy. Bit of slug damage maybe. And then there's some radish at the back there, but they're starting to bolt too. So I think we'll probably get those out. I think it might be time to clear the bed say for this winter density which is looking lovely that one absolutely nice we'll take those for salads next week as well as this speckled variety but we'll clear everything else out I think well, it's done really well even without the protection of the polytunnel carrots not doing too badly a little bit of maybe that's Possible frost damage there, maybe, and then definite frost damage. The potatoes, the early, extra, extra early ones. I think now they were covered with the fleece, so I've taken the fleece off just to photograph those. But just been nipped at the tips slightly. Um, should have earthed them up really just before the frost came, but we'll get those earthed up now. Um, hopefully they'll carry on. Not done too bad. This variety in here, I'll get that one earthed up as well. And then that's one. Unfortunately, the tips have, as you can see, been a bit of pottery. The tips have been burnt with those frosts. But we'll get those covered up again now. But really healthy growth. I'm really impressed with how well, these have done protected even without the polytunnel with just some fleece over the top of them. Um, I'll have a look at the proper potato bed now. Here's the very first early, the home guard under the fleece. And I think they more or less, yeah, they had a bit of frost damage there, you can see. But they should be okay. We'll keep them fleeced. 
but hopefully fingers crossed that'll be the last of the the frost if we're lucky and uh, those rows we've got vivaldi in there another couple of rows of potatoes british queen and some maris bard and lastly a whole row of charlotte's everyone's favorite apparently they can uh, stand a bit longer in the ground and get a bit bigger second early and the vivaldi ones are supposed to taste buttery but that could just be marketing <laughs> but uh, looking forward to some hopefully some nice potatoes this year we'll get them give them some feed in a short while and they should be doing nicely and then the field beans the green manure again just a few weeks another sort of four weeks another month Look how well they've come on. These here look really nice. Hopefully they'll uh, be fixing lots of nitrogen. What I did do is from the house, we had a few brassicas that we were started early. Uh, I planted just a couple here in between the beans. Hopefully they'll get the benefit of some of the nitrogen. The companion planting. We've got a calabrese there, green sprouting, four of them there. That one's really come on. Well, they did it what, a week or so ago. Planted them. Looking really nice. This one is a calabrese de Checo in between here. Oh, really good. Another one there, four. Let's see if we can get a quick crop. This will be the uh, cabbage bed anyway this year and then here we have some a cabbage Elsa F1 four of those again that one's kind of flopped over a bit um, but that one's nice and straight that one's looking brilliant there but hopefully they'll uh, get the benefit of the nitrogen from the roots of the uh, beans whether they get that now or when I nip the uh, plants off when before they start to flower, I don't know, but uh, they're looking quite good. Dad's been uh, at the hoeing, breaking up the uh, bed while weeding. It's a great job, look at that. Not what you call a fine tilth, but uh, it'll break down nicely. Here, the uh, celeriac from last year, still hanging on. This is probably the best one there. Might clear some of these leaves off, see if it can. I gave it a feed, threw some chicken pellets down, chicken manure pellets. But I don't think that's gonna do anything. We'll give maybe that one a little go and see how it, how it fares. But I think the rest probably could be due with uh, pulling up now. Celery, similarly, not too bad. It'd be very dry. But again, there's not really anything to be had on these. Here is the elephant garlic from last year. We thought we'd lost these or they'd rotted away. That one's gone, that's a goner. That one's not done so much, but these are not looking as healthy as the other ones. Here's the elephant garlic from this year's winter sowing with some germidor at the front just for green garlic. But there's the elephant garlic. Look how good that's done. I mean, strictly speaking, those other ones were uh, in the ground in winter too, but these have come up brilliantly. Really strong, healthy plants. Maybe better seed, but look at this. You can understand how where it comes from sort of the leek family, elephant garlic. And it looks like this, but that is, that's huge. I call it elephant garlic for nothing. The rest of the garlic after that, and there's another whopper there. Look, here we have the main sowing of garlic. There, looking great, really good. And then we've got the onions there. Might get them a feed as well soon. They've been weeded. Red onions, not so good. 
see here. Very small in comparison to the, to the white onions. Just like to say thank you to all the new subscribers and people watching. Um, really appreciate all your comments as well. I've had some great um, comments and suggestions from people and um, uh, lots of support as well. You know, really great comments from everybody. Really enjoy replying to them and um, having a bit of a chat with you. I'd be really interested to see what you're all doing. Um, make comments below as to what you've got planned, what you've got sowing and growing, uh, what you're going to pot on, plant out. Um, what your uh, expectations are for this year, whether you've had anything checked or not back from that uh, cold spell we had, whether you've got any uh, worries about what you think might uh, have been stalled in its growth or whether you think it'll make a resounding recovery and uh, rocket onwards. Well, that's the plot tour for April at Beans, Brews and Bread. Um, if you like the content, I'd be really grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and a share. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, as ever, just give it a type in the uh, box below and submit it if you're new to the channel and you've not subscribed we're grateful if you could give it a subscribe and uh, thanks for coming along today and we'll see you next time bye